today I show you first part of any dynamic website so first of all you have to create partition or template so this is the template I have to put this template on XAMPP now I run the template you can see here this is my template any dynamic if uh, any dynamic website you have to parties uh, you have to make partition of this template so first of all you have to decide that which is your content area so in this template this is my content area now what is the meaning of this content area as for example if I click on this home home page then my home page content should be display here if I click on about us page then about us page content should be display here if I click on package tour then package tour data should be display here if I click on events offer booking and contact us mm, that uh, <coughs> menus the data should be display here so this part this menu part this banner and these footer bars are remaining same now so I have to create partition I have to create first partition for this menu second partition for this banner and third partition for footer why we do this partition because uh, you can consider here yeah, this is the first page second page third page four five six and seven I have seven menu in this my menu so I have required seven pages for that now consider if you do not partis, uh, partition this template so first of all this is the index page so you have to say save, uh, save as this index page to home page save as to about us page save us to this page save as to this page save as to this and etc so this all page should be different now after completion of this website you found that this travel agency spelling is wrong right now this spelling is correct but as per example you found that this travel spelling is wrong and you have to change this travel to travels so you have to add here s yes. so if you do not participate this then you have to change this s yes in this seven pages because right now you are not participate any page so I have to pa after partition this page you have to change this only in one page where this part is set so you can understand in few minutes now first of all I have to open that index page I am going to open this index page now I save as this index page to demo page see here I save as index page to demo.php so now this is my PHP page now I have to run check that where is this menu part contact us booking oh you can see here this is my menu part and which is the nearest slash di data this is my menu nearest slash di data so I select this menu and up part and cut that part now I am going to create new PHP page I paste here this code and save as header.php now I am now you can see here first I should show you you can see here now because I remove here from header part so I have to add here see now I have to blend 
this content area welcome to our website part I have to blame that you can see here I blame that part now I participate the footer page our authorized agents so this, this is the footer part so I am going to clean this footer part Sequence of this include is most important part. Means if you are going to cut part from here, then you have to compulsory include that file over here. Sequence should not be changed. Now in this header part, now you can see here. Uh, now I want to create three pages home.php so I have to save as this demo page now I save as this demo page name is home.php so I link that page to over here now second page I have to create about us.php then again I have to save as this which I said what is the name about us oh good about us.php now again I have to save as that events.php now I have three page home.php about us.php and events.php now I have to that link that menu to here uh, here home.php to you can see here right now I am on header.php part about us.php I have to include over here see here now I click on this home page you can see here right now I am on home page now I click on about us.php you can see here now I am on about us.php and now I click on events.php you can see here now I am on events.php now I want to change here so I had open this header and here it is written trial agency now I change only at one place in header.php now you can see here you can see trials agency now I click on home page you can see here is trials agency now I am on about us.php you can see here it is on trials.php so this is the advantage of partition in the template this is most important part of any dynamic website compulsory you to participate uh, partition any template thank you